What I'm going to do today is I'm going to build uh, a portable collapsible V flat. I've built V flats before. Uh, I've got a black one up against the wall there. I've got some white ones over here. This right here is a big black V flat. It is uh, four feet by eight feet each panel. It is not easy to transport. Uh, this thing is four feet by eight feet and uh, I can't take it with me. Today I'm going to build a white one. It'll fold up and fit uh, right in the back of my car. Uh, very easy. So let's get into it. What I have today are uh, uh, things that I ordered from Amazon. Right. Well, obviously the first thing we need are uh, panels, uh, foam core. Each of these panels is 22 inches by 28 inches. Not very big. They're great if you just want to hold them here, here, whatever you want to do. Each of these boxes comes with five of the panels. I have two boxes. I ordered two boxes. It's that one. In this box is the secret ingredient to making your V flats last a long time. This is something a lot of Americans don't know about, but almost every Canadian knows about. Hockey tape. This hockey tape is better than any other tape that you can use on a V flat. I'm basically going to make an accordion, folding these over on themselves using tape as a hinge. And in our last package here, the thing that's going to make all of this work, Velcro. All right, so we've got our Velcro, we've got our hockey tape, and we have our panels. So let's make some V flats. The key to making your V-flats last a long time is hockey tape. Hockey tape, because of its tension and its grip, keeps the boards flat, keeps their shape. I have boards here that I, I made with hockey tape, and, and there are some here that were made without hockey tape. And the, the bending of the board doesn't happen with hockey tape. The hockey tape will stay on there really good, really well. Gaff tape, I would not recommend because it doesn't stay on the foam core as long as you would like. Trust me when I say hockey tape is the solution to all your V-flat problems. So the first thing I'm going to do is take You can see just trying to take the tape apart. There are six rolls here and you can see just how well they, I mean, they are stuck to each other. You have to pry them apart. This is why hockey tape is your best friend when you're making B-flats. So this is gonna be the longest part of the process, taping up every single edge of every single board. If you're making full-size V-flats, you would also need to tape every edge of every panel. So as you can see, this is one inch thick tape. So I'm just going to get a rough estimate, cut it. Put it down along the edge. Fold the tape over in the center do that all along the edge. Flip it over and make sure it's flat and adhered to the edge all the way across. Trim that excess off the edge. So it's one edge done, only 23 more to go. Another way to do this is to put the tape down, find the center of the tape, put the tape down all the way across so it's nice and tight. Here to the edge. So I estimate it'll take about five minutes per board times six boards, so that's gonna be 30 minutes. And uh, right, I'll be back in 30. That took 32 minutes. All of these edges are now taped up. I have six sheets. Every single edge is taped. That will help every sheet keep its structure. It's not going to allow it to bend and warp with moisture and humidity in the air. Now what we're going to do is we're going to 
piece these together to create hinges. Where these two sheets meet up, I'm going to add another strip of tape along this edge. The first strip of tape is going to be on the outside edge. That's taped up, trim the excess. So now that I have this hinge on the outside and it's perfectly flat here, open it up, lay it flat. Now this piece of tape is gonna create the inner edge of the hinge. So just take a tape and run it all the way from one edge to the other. Get it down into this seam. You can take the excess and just fold it over. Now you have a working hinge. So now what we're going to do is the same process, except instead of having the hinge on the outer edge, we're gonna add pieces here and here and create a hinge this way. Now I've got four sheets together. I have a hinge that opens up and then I have these panels are going to swing up this way. I'm gonna add two more sheets of foam core to uh, the top, one here and one here. I'm gonna create the hinge at the opposite end of the sheet from where I created the previous hinge. All right, so I have a little bit of tape left. That was one roll. I have five rolls left. All these edges are taped. Now this will fit into the back of my car. All right, we'll take our Velcro, open it up, throw that away. We are going to take this hook, put it on one side of the seam and the loop on the other side. You don't need a lot. I'm just gonna do, now this is just peel and stick, so that's what I'm gonna do. That's, that's what I'm attempting to do. The peel part is the hard part here. All right, all right. So I just wanna do it on a single piece of board. I'm doing that the same way I did the tape along the edge of the tape, so it's not wrapping around onto the board. So now I want the counterparts on the opposite board, so the other outer piece of the board. So I have now a four foot by seven foot panel V-flat that I can take that fits into my car very easily. The way I've done the Velcro along the hinges is such that when the top panel folds down, uh, the Velcro straps actually will adhere to the Velcro uh, on this lower panel as well. Not only is it adhering to the sister panel on the other side, but it is also adhering now to these pieces here. And that's it, it's done. Um, my portable V-flat is ready to go. Uh, so it can just fit into my car, which is my usual studio. And that's it, that's how quickly and easily it folds up. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was helpful. Uh, let me know if this works out for you. I'll leave links to everything for that I, I got everything off Amazon, so I'll leave links to everything in the description below. And, and that's it. Really easy. All right, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.